Hi, and welcome to tutorial 9 on how to convert percentages into fractions and decimals. Let's first begin by converting a percentage into a fraction. Imagine I had 95%. Now, 95% is a special value that we use for registering things out of 100. So 95% actually means 95 out of 100. So that means we can write this down instantly. So 95% means 95 out of 100. Here we go. So that now is 95% written as a fraction. So we've already turned our percentage into a fraction. Okay, let's have another go. Let's say we have 5%. Now remember, percent means out of 100. So as a fraction, 5% is 5 out of 100. Right, let's have a look at another. 100%. 100% means that you've got everything. So you've got 100 out of 100. So here we go. So this is converting a percentage into a fraction. Now, what we're likely to come across is we're likely to come across this phrase called simplest form. Okay, so that means we can't necessarily leave our fractions as large numbers. So let's, for example, take 40%. So if we have 40%, we know that this is going to be 40 over 100. Now, we can simplify this fraction in several ways. We can divide both the top and the bottom by 10, and this will give us 4 over 10. And then we can half both the top and the bottom, so that will equal to 2 over 5. Okay? This is called equivalent fractions. So we know that 2 over 5 is equivalent to 4 over 10, which is equivalent to 40 over 100. Let's have a look at another. Let's this time take 78%. So 78% is going to be 78 over 100. Hmm. Now, it's a little bit trickier to divide these, but as 78 ends in an 8, I know it's an even number, and I know that 100 is an even number as well. So it's quite possible that we're going to be able to half both the top and the bottom. So 100 divided by 2 is 50. And 78 divided by 2 is going to be 39. So 78% in its simplest form as a fraction is 39 out of 50. Let's try 55%. So 55% Remember, straight away, it's going to be 55 out of 100. Now this time, what can I divide both the top and the bottom of this fraction by? Now, I know that 55 is in the 5 times table, and I also know that 100 is in the 5 times table. So 55 divided by 5 is 11. I'm going to put an arrow here and put divide 5 just to remind ourselves that that's what we've done. And here, 100 divided by 5, I'm going to put an arrow here and say divide 5, is going to be 20. Now, 11 and 20 do not appear in any of the same times tables. They are in, 11 is in fact what we call a prime number, so we can't simplify this fraction anymore. So 55% is equal to 11 over 20, as a fraction in its simplest form. Now, let's take a look at converting a percentage into a decimal. So, a percentage into a decimal is best off if you just kind of think about it going through the fraction root. So, if we think of 79%, if we remember that this equals 79 over 100. Now we should know by now that 79 over 100 
means 79 divided by 100. Okay, so 79 divided by 100 equals 0.79. Now, you can probably spot the link between this and this because these look very similar. So this is 79% and this is 0.79. And you're gonna spot a pattern soon with this. But first, before I do that, I just want to go through why 79 divided by 100 is 0.79. So, so far in these tutorials, we've used a method for division called the bus stop method. So I'm going to use that method again to tackle 79 divided by 100. Right, so 79 divided by 100. 79 is here first, so I'm going to put that underneath the bus stop. 100 is here last, so it's going to go outside in the rain. Right, let's look at this 7. How many hundreds fit into 7? They don't. Okay, so 7 minus 0, because no hundreds fit in, equals 7, so I can carry the 7 up here. Now, how many hundreds fit into 79? They don't. So a 0 goes here, and I'm going to have to enlist a 0 here. And then we know that 79 minus 0 equals 79. So this time I'm going to carry the whole 79. So now, how many hundreds go into 790? Well, the clue is in the word, 790. So there's seven hundreds and there's going to be 90 left, okay? So if we had 790, take away the seven lots of 100, which is 700, we'd be left with 90. So here we go, we've got 90 left over, so I'm going to put that 90 here. And now we're looking at 100 into 900. So how many hundreds are in 900? The clue is in the word 900. There's nine hundreds in 900. So here we go. So 79% is 79 divided by 100 is 0.79. Let's try one more. Let's say this time we have got 8%. So 8% is here. 8% is 8 over 100. Okay, now we know that this means 8 divided by 100. So, let's do this using the bus stop method. We have 8 in the middle and 100 on the outside. You don't always have to use this method, by the way. I'm just using it as a tool right now to get you familiar to the idea. So 100 into 8 doesn't go. We have the whole 8 left over. Now 100 into 80 still doesn't go. And we've got the whole 80 left over. So I'll put another zero here. Now we've got 100 into 800. Now remember the clues in the word. How many hundreds are in 800? Well, that's eight. So I'll put an eight here. So here we go. 8% is eight divided by 100 equals 0 0.08. Okay. Let's take a look at these so far. So we said 79% equals 0 0.79. And we've got 8% equals 0 0.08. So there is a pattern with percentages and decimals. And that is that if we think about this, as pence, the unit always becomes like the 1p and the 10 always becomes like the 10p. So with 8% there was just a unit so that became like 8p. Okay, let's have a go at another one. 19% this would equal 0 0.19. 2.5% this would equal 0.025. Okay, we can try a few more. 41.2% 0.025. 0.025. 0.025. 0 
would equal 0.412. But each time, what we're doing is we're dividing these numbers by 100. So here we go. Just a quick recap. So percentage to fraction is to put the number, is to put the percentage over 100. And then percentage to decimal is to divide the percentage by 100. Okay, great. Let's go take a look at the Crack Math site to see some of these questions in context. So here we are on the Crack Math site, and let's take a look at the questions that we need to find. So we want that all you need to know, and this time we're looking for tutorial nine, how to turn percentages into fractions and decimals. So here we are. Let's have a look. So here we go. Here's some of the practice questions. Convert 25% into a fraction and a decimal. So remember the fraction is a fraction out of 100 and a decimal is to divide the 25% by 100. And then here, let's have a look at the scenario questions. Right, so question one. In a class of 30 students, 20% are girls. What is this percentage as a fraction and a decimal? Okay, so it's important when you read these questions to see what information is relevant and what information is just there. In this situation, it's nice to know that there's 30 students, but the question hasn't actually asked for any information about these 30 students. What is actually asked for, it's asked for 20% as a fraction and a decimal. Okay, so let's write this down. 20% First of all, as a fraction, it's going to be 20 out of 100. OK, let's see if we can cancel this down. 20 out of 100, but we can see that they both end in zeros. So we can knock a zero off each one, or we can divide each by 10, and we get 2 over 10. 2 over 10, I can see that both 2 and 10 are even numbers. So I can divide both of these by 2. So if we divide this by 2 here, and we divide this by 2 here, what we get is we get 2 tenths equals 1 fifth. So here we go. 2 over 10 equals 1 over 5. Perfect. So we have now got 20% equals 1 fifth. Now, we need to convert 20% into a decimal. So 20 divided by 100. And this equals 0.2. Okay, great. So make sure you do all of these questions to get lots of practice, because this skill is one that you're going to need. Go to the Crack Math site to have a look at the practice questions and scenario questions. Oh, and remember, when you've finished, you can always check your answers at the end. So let's have a look to see if we got that question correct. And there we did. Fraction, one fifth, decimal, 0.2. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye.